Hi, I'm Tony Maserati of the Boston Globe. Welcome back to Boston.com. One of the more important or interesting moments of this game took place in the eighth inning when Terry Francona elected to send John Lester back out to the mound despite having thrown in excess of 100 pitches through seven innings. Lester got two more routes and then Francona took no chances, went right to closer Papelbon, skipped over Hideki Okajima and Justin Masterson in the eighth inning. Masterson had been up in the seventh. Okajima was up in the eighth along with Papelbon who got a four out save. There were a couple of other things in this game of note. First of all, the Red Sox pitchers combined for 12 strikeouts and this Tampa Bay team has been striking out a lot. That's 44 strikeouts in the last four games for the Devil Rays. They are among the American League leaders in strikeouts. Only three other teams have struck out more times than Tampa Bay. It's not going to get any easier for the Rays the next couple of nights. They get Daisuke Matsuzaka in the second game of the series. They get Josh Beckett in the third game of the series. Those are the Red Sox' two best strikeout pitchers based on strikeouts per nine innings, at least among those pitchers in the starting rotation. Red Sox ran the bases very aggressively in this game. In fact, they got thrown out on the bases four times, although one of them was Kevin Euclid in the first inning, which is a play that is, by design, uh, intended to get a base runner home from second base, in this case, David Ortiz. So that one doesn't really count, but the other three times the Red Sox ran into some outs. A little bit uncharacteristic of them, although they certainly have been running more this season than in years past. The defense, as has been the case for much of the second half, was again pretty good. The Red Sox turned a pretty good double play from Mike Lowe to Dustin Pedroia to Euclid early in the game behind Lester to help him out a little bit. And then later in the game, Jason Bay made a nice play off the wall, hold a batter to a single. That ended up saving the Red Sox a run when Carlos Pena, the next batter, hit a ground rule double. That was the point that Papelbon came into the game and got the final four outs. So with this win, the Red Sox are now one game behind the Rays in the loss column in the American League East. Clearly, they are in firm control of the American League wildcard position. With two more games to go here, the Red Sox could find themselves in first place, certainly by the time the Rays leave town on Wednesday night. Again, two more games to go in this series. Matsuzaka and Beckett, the teams will play three more next week in Tampa Bay. We will have full coverage in the Boston Globe and on Boston.com, so be sure to check back here for details. And again, thank you for joining us.